Okay, so let's test your understanding of basic math with this simple problem. So we have 10 divided by 2 times 5, a very easy math problem, but the answer here is not 1. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm pretty good in basic math, and my answer is 1. Well, this is incorrect, all right? So the question here is, why is 1 the wrong answer? All right, so if you know why one is the wrong answer here, tell me why in the comment section. Matter of fact, tell me what the correct solution is. And if you still think one is the right answer, we'll go ahead and support your conclusions. Put all of this in the comment section. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and solve this problem step by step and tell you exactly why one is the wrong answer. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you want a nice, easy to understand way to learn math, well then check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so once again, here is our problem, and I should have stated right up front, no calculators. Hopefully that was obvious. So we have 10 divided by 2 times 5. Okay, now I know a lot of you got 1 as your answer, but some of you got this answer, which is the correct answer, and that is 25. But you got the right answer because you got lucky, all right? A lot of you, uh, you know, have 25 as your answer, but you still don't know why 1 is wrong, all right? So you just got lucky, and that's fine. I'm going to still go ahead and give you a happy face and an A+. Plus. And for those of you out there that are still pretty like, you know, Mr. YouTube Math Man, tell me why one is the wrong answer, because I still think one is right. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this right now, because what I'm talking about is one of the most common errors in all of mathematics right now. We're going to kind of look at this error and understand this concept with this very basic problem. But how could one uh, get an answer of one from this uh, question, right? So the obvious thing is they started right here. They went, all right, two times five, that's 10. So 10 divided by 10 is one. So that makes sense. So uh, two times five indeed is 10, and 10 divided by 10 is one. So there's nothing wrong with this multiplication or this division. What's wrong here is that we started with multiplication, right? So what's wrong? is the order in which we did this problem, okay? The correct order is this, okay? We should start right here. Now, if you just said, yes, Mr. Two Math Man, that's the way I did this problem, because maybe you were kind of scanning the problem or reading it from left to right, and you started right here, and you did 10 divided by two. 10 divided by two is five. Five times five is 25, and that is correct. But uh, some of you just got lucky, and you did the division first, because you were going from left to right, okay? If that's the case, that's fine. But again, I want you to tell me why one is the wrong answer. Now, I kind of gave you the reason why. Yeah, and you're basically gonna say, well, you need to start with the division first, all right? Well, we're talking about the correct order to do this problem, okay? That's what I'm talking about. So let's go and get into it right now. So we need to understand something called PEMDAS. Now, this is a little acronym and I'm gonna explain this in just one second, but this is gonna tell us the correct order to do a math problem when you have more than one math operation. So in mathematics, things that we can do with numbers like add, subtract, multiply, and divide, and even powers uh, are basically mathematical operations, right? Especially these right here. But uh, here is the deal, okay? When we have a math problem with more than one mathematical operation, we need to know the correct order of operations, which means we need to know this thing right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little memory aid, a little phrase, just in case you've never seen this before or heard this uh, before. So it goes like this. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. One more time, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So this is a little memory phrase to help you remember this acronym. Now, I'm not sure what Ann Sally did, but uh, we thank her for her contributions to mathematics. But uh, all jokes aside, let's go ahead and get into this PEMDAS right now. Okay, so this is a checklist, and obviously these letters stand for something. And we're going to go from left to right. So P stands for parentheses. So if we have a math problem, let's just kind of do something here. 7 times 2 divided by 3. 
I can group these numbers together differently, right? So maybe I can uh, group them together this way. So P stands for parentheses, but it really means grouping symbols. So if you have parentheses or grouping symbols in your problem, you're going to start there. Now, in this particular problem, I grouped uh, 7 times 2, but I could also group the problem this way, right? So that means I would have to start here. But again, uh, P stands for parentheses, but it means grouping symbols, so it means these type of brackets or even these type of squiggly brackets like so. Now, let's suppose you have a math problem, and you have parentheses, and you have brackets, and then maybe you have something else like this, and then some other squiggly brackets. So in other words, you have parentheses inside of brackets, inside of other brackets. So the way this works is you always go to the innermost parentheses first, and then kind of work your way out. All right, so P again stands for parentheses, but again, we're talking about all grouping symbols. Now, your math problem may not have any parentheses, but uh, again, we still have to go through this checklist. Okay, so now let's go ahead and, and talk about E. E stands for exponents, but really it means powers. Okay, so here is 2 to the third power. I mean, matter of fact, let me write this a little bit bigger. This little 3 up here is called the exponent part of the power. This 2 is called the base. Now, what does this mean? Uh, well, when we're, when we're taking a power, in other words, we have a base and an exponent, what it means is that we're going to multiply this number by itself this many times, right? So this is the way powers work. So 2 to the third power means take 2 and multiply it by itself three times, right? So 2 times 2 times 2, of course, is 8. All right, so that's what E stands for. Now, not every math problem, again, is going to have parentheses or powers, okay? But if it does, that's what you're going to do next. So effectively, this works this way. Let's suppose we had some parentheses, some brackets, like so. So in this problem, we're looking, we're like, oh, we have some parentheses. We're going to look inside of those parentheses, and then we're going to do whatever math is inside of these parentheses. And if there happens to be any powers, we're going to do those next. All right, so again, we may not have parentheses or powers, but if we do, this is the way it works. Okay, so now we're going to get to the most interesting part of this video. So some of you are saying, yes, Mr. YouTube Math Man, this is the part of, uh, you know, of the video I wanted you to get to because I know I am right because I know PEMDAS, right? So uh, let me go ahead and just tell you what M, D, A, and S stand for. So M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. So some of you are saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, look what's on your checklist. It's multiplication. So I'm right and you're wrong. In other words, let's go back to the problem. Okay, so right up here. So if we're thinking PEMDAS, all right, so let's just write this up here real quick. PEMDAS. So do we have any parentheses? No. Do we have any uh, powers or exponents? No. Do we have multiplication? Because this is a checklist. We're going from left to right. Yes. Okay, so we have uh, 2 times 10. I'm sorry, 2 times 5, which of course is 10. And 10 divided by 10 is 1. So you lost... Uh, you know, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, on I uh, won. Well, not, uh, you know, let's not celebrate too soon, I guess is what I'm trying to say. What you did here is one of the most common errors in basic math. Matter of fact, it's one of the most common errors in all of mathematics. This is still wrong. Now, I know that kind of frustrates a lot of you out there. Like, you just told me this is the checklist. Well, this is not the way the checklist quite works. All right, so let me go and explain this because this is a very common misunderstanding. And if you got this wrong because of this, I'm glad that you found this video. And don't feel too bad. A lot of people get this uh, confused. All right, so the way this checklist works, okay, we're going to do parentheses and then we're going to do exponents. But the next thing that comes, um, the next thing on our checklist is not always multiplication. It's multiplication or division. So the way this works, it's multiplication or division, whatever we see first from left to right. So in other words, if we have division, then multiplication like this, okay, or division and multiplication, and erase this a little bit better, this is what we're going to do first. We're going to uh, do whatever we see first from left to right, okay? So this checklist, you know, this PEMNOS, this acronym, we can't write it in too, too many different ways, right, because we don't know the situation. You're always going to do parentheses first. You're always going to do powers first, but some, sometimes you're going to have division and then multiplication, and addition and subtraction kind of work the same way, right? So you could have subtraction, then addition. But uh, there's some other kind of subtleties in, uh, in here. But the biggest thing that confuses people or causes so many errors in basic math 
uh, is this multiplication and division uh, situation, right? So again, it's whatever you see first from left to right. And again, addition and subtraction work the same way. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply that knowledge to the problem. So here we go. We have division and multiplication. We don't have any parentheses. So if you want, you could put uh, PEMDAS, or you should kind of basically be thinking about this. So you're like, all right, do I have any parentheses? No. Do I have any exponents or powers? No. Do I have multiplication or division? Okay, do I have multiplication and division? Uh, yes. Okay, so what you have to ask yourself is, what do I see first from left to right? Well, I see the division first. All right, so this, again, is the way this works. So uh, 10 divided by 2, of course, is going to be 5. So we're just left with 5 times 5, which, of course, is 25. All right, so again, why is 1 the wrong answer? Well, multiplication does not uh, uh, come first in this situation because we see division first from left to right. So if you answered in some sort of way, you know, or some sort of, um, you know, description in terms of, you know, uh, what I just kind of told you, well, that is fantastic. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give you an A++. And if you were in my math class, I might just kind of say, you know what, take the rest of the year off. I have no idea how you got so good in math. Maybe you're watching that guy on YouTube. But anyways, that is fantastic. you got to understand the order of operations. And if this little video helped you out, make sure to help me out by hitting that subscribe button. That really does wonders for me on YouTube. And my YouTube channel is all about trying to make math clear and understandable and interesting. Okay, but I'm trying to reach as many people as possible. And the only way I can do that is to get people like yourself to actually hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. Now, if you're a little bit rusty on basic math or if, you, or if you forgot all this stuff because if you're like me and you were learning this way back in 1977 or something like that, if you want a great math review, check out these. Uh, I'm talking about basic math. In uh, the description, you're going to find two courses. Uh, one is called my Math Foundations course, and my other is my Math Skills Rebuilder course. So there will be other courses there as well. But uh, if you want a great, quick, basic math review, check out my Math Foundations course. And if you just kind of want to rebuild all of your math skills that you, most of us probably forgot if you've been away from math for a long time, check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course here. I go over basic math, algebra, geometry, and some other stuff as well. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.